today. This is your English teacher, Mary Ann Lawrence, signing in. I'm so happy to see your energetic, energetic and active faces. Your, you know, come on, stretch your hands a bit without, uh, without, uh, uh, you know, disturbing anything which is kept on the table. And uh, now, today, it is 5th of June. What is the speciality of 5th of June? In the morning, did you get the broadcast message from Sarvodaya Central Vidyalaya? It is N... Yes, it is World and Beyond Men Day. And, uh, you know, first, let me tell you, it is World and Beyond Men Day. You know what all things uh, teacher expects in class. You have to listen very carefully. Keep a single line notebook, 200 pages notebook near you. And you have to check your textbook. It is Block City. How can you now relate the poem Block City to Environment Day. How can you do that? Smart children will be able to relate Environment Day to the lesson. Yes, let us find out. Environment Day means nature, ecosystem, living in harmony with nature. Look at this. Castles, palaces, temples and docks. All nature, rain, raining, and then, you know, mountains, sea, all this speaks of nature. The Nature Club has presented the Environment Day to you. And uh, let us, uh, in the poem, find out what all things are mentioned in the poem relating to Environment Day. Mountains and sea. And then there is a city here which is so environment friendly. And there is a church and a mill and a palace. Okay? And there is a house harbor as well okay there is a pillar and then a tower what all things are there there are toy vessels yes and then ships sailing ships coming in ships going out and then you have to you know to find out what all things connect you to environment day from this lesson the block city anyway we carry on yesterday we were writing you were writing the meanings i was dictating the meanings to you we finished i think it it was we um, left off at harbor the word harbor did you write the word harbor Yes, harbor means, so write in your notebook, you have to write in your notebook, harbor means it is a port where ships come and go, harbor, the ships come and stay there and then go, okay, the port where ships come and then it is vessels. We continue with writing meanings. You have to open your notebook, take your pen, not your pencil, and you have to write with your pen. The meaning, the 13th meaning, it is vessels. Vessels are ships. Vessels are ships. The meaning of vessels is ships. You can look at the screen and write, and the teacher is also dictating to you. The next one is pillar. P-I-L-L-A-R, pillar, means strong supporting towers. Okay, strong supporting towers. Yes, look at the screen. If you have any doubt in the spelling, you have to look at the screen and write. Pillar is strong supporting towers. Okay, the next word is tower. Tower is the top part of a palace. Tower is the top part of a palace. And the next one is, the next word is orderly. Orderly. O-R-D-E-R-L-Y. Orderly. Orderly means arranged. So it is A-R-R-A-N-G-E-D. Arranged. The next word. Okay. Are you writing with teacher? Are all of you writing with teacher? I would love to see your faces, but we have now adjusted to the broadcast. And now, so it is so much fun now with the broadcast. And it is mood. The next, uh, the next word is bay. The next word is bay. B-A-Y, bay. Bay is a resting place for ships. A resting place of ships in the narrow part of the sea near land. Come on, look at the screen and write. Any doubt in the spelling, you have to check the screen and write. Bay is the resting place of ships in the narrow part of the sea 
near land narrow the word gets double r have you all finished writing the word meaning of bay okay so we move on to the next one it is mood m o o r e d mood it is tied to a fixed object yes m o o r e d mood means tied to a fixed object okay am i going fast children am i going fast okay take down the word is mood m o o r e d mood tied to a fixed object next word is hark i told you hark means listen listen hark h what is it augustine of phibe what is it what did you ask just now you already wrote the word okay so move on to the next word so if you have written the word hark then go on to the next one on board on board on board means on the ship on board means on the ship okay so on board means on the ship now you have to take down the rhyming words in the poem please take down the rhyming words in the poem did you write the title rhyming words yes shayan what do you want to ask teacher is there any confusion any confusion uh, is it word meanings it is your uh, your conversation is not clear to me can you repeat okay word meanings so with till which word did you write uh you repeat what you said just now shayan okay word meanings if you did not complete just leave it at that if you have so many word meanings to write then teacher will send you the notes okay speak louder okay take it down only two more word meanings then take it down the whole class is waiting for you to finish yes finish children finish fast those who did not finish you have to finish writing the word meanings and then go on to rhyming words in the poem rhyming words those who finish writing word meanings move on to rhyming words yes can you see on the screen it is rhyming words are blocks docks you say in your mind and see blocks docks the words sound the same not in looks but in the sound they are similar okay next one roam home next one is roam and home yes the next word rhyming word is see and me they these two words see and me do not look alike they have no resemblance but they sound the same such words are rhyming words see me speak clearly shayan louder okay 
carry on with the rhyming words then those who are those who are still writing rhyming words in the poem finish fast we have some exciting things coming up teacher has prepared something for you children teacher is going to interact with you give you a quiz okay if if there is time left teacher will give you a quiz okay let's see so now it is rhyming words in the poem blocks dogs roam home see me beside ride vishal or matthew please you have to take this down blocks dogs roam home see me beside ride wall all let me slowly scroll the screen to for you to see the sixth word way bay then comes mood mood board mood board the last rhyming word catch up with teacher as teacher tells you the words the last rhyming word is kings things are all of you writing yes kings things kings things next teacher is going to discuss the rest of it so let me just discuss what the question answers in the lesson these question answers you will not write after writing the rhyming words you will stop writing put your pen down and uh, you will just listen to teacher look on the screen and just listen to teacher you will not write a, write anything in your notebook after the rhyming words you have written okay so we move on to answer the following answer the following don't take this down we are only discussing this this is homework for you you will get your homework on whatsapp the questions will be on whatsapp now answer the following these questions are at the back of your textbook also who is the i in the poem the poet robert louis stevenson is the i in the poem who is the i in the poem the poet robert louis stevenson is the i in the poem now the second question how do you know that there is more than one person involved in the play you have to do your homework so be careful you have to listen thoroughly then only you will be able to do your homework how do you know that there is more than one person involved in the play the answer is you listen to the answer in the homework you have to write in your own words okay in the opening line the poet is asking his playmate about the things he is able to build with do not take down do not write the question answers you have to just listen to what teacher is saying you have to do this as homework don't take down the question answers now how do you know second question i repeat how do you know that there is more than one person involved in the play in the opening line the poet is asking his playmate about the things he is able to build with building blocks he is asking his playmate see a question can come where there is another person to answer it so that means in the opening line the poet is asking his playmate the presence of the playmate is there so there is more than one person in the poem next question question number 3 this is homework for you do not write down now elaborate these lines 
Rain may keep raining and others go wrong. But I can be happy and building at home. Okay, the answer is, as a boy, the poet enjoyed playing building blocks. We are elaborating the two lines. I said the line, I can be happy and building at home is very important. So, we are elaborating this line and the line before it. As a boy, the poet enjoyed playing building blocks. He says that even if it is raining outside and his friends would go out to play in the rain, even then he would be happy building with his building blocks. The poet has a colorful and vibrant imagination. Okay, see, let us see the question once more. Elaborate these lines. Elaborate means say many things, what all things you know about these lines. The lines are rain may keep raining and others go wrong, but I can be happy and building at home. As a boy, the poet enjoyed playing building blocks. He says that even when his friends were playing outside in the rain, he would be happy building with his building blocks. The poet has a colorful and vibrant imagination. Okay, now we move on to the last question. Or oh, no, no, the, uh, the, before the last question, the fourth question, the speaker builds a city in the living room. Do you all agree to teacher that the speaker, the poet, builds a city in the living room? Yes, name the places he builds as part of the city. Name the places he builds as part of the city. Which are the places he builds? Which are the buildings? Yes, the places he builds as part of the city are castles, palaces, temples and docks. Yes, he would also build a kirk, a mill and a palace with a tower on top of it. He would also build a harbor in the city so that his toy ships, so that his toy ships remain safe so that his toy ships remain safe this is all homework for you you have to write the answers to the questions at the back of the textbook at the back of the poem in your own words teacher will check all this okay the speaker mentions sofa and carpet see this is another question in the fourth question there are two parts the second part is the speaker mentions sofa and carpet. What other pieces of furniture do you think are being used? Many other pieces of furniture can be used. Do you agree? Yes. So, you know, from your imagination, you can write it in your own words, the answer. What came to teacher's mind? I kept it simple, just one sentence. Chairs and tables can be used to form a toy port. Chairs and tables can also be used to form a toy port. Next question. This is homework for you. Do not write now. And you have to keep all this in mind then, right? And when you are writing the homework, write in your own words. I don't want you to copy teacher's notes, okay? Use your imagination. That is how you become the best. Yes. So visual imagery used in the poem. What is visual imagery, children? Visual imagery. Come on. Look uh, this side. Yes. Yes. Look at the screen now. Visual imagery used in the poem. It is... Let the sofa be. What is visual imagery, by the way? Visual imagery is you, the poet shows, using words, the poet shows some things. It is shown to you. You know, some pictures, word pictures. Pictures are not given here. But the images come to your mind when you, when you hear the words, when you read the words. That is visual imagery. Okay. So let the sofa be, and this one is sailing, and that one is hug to the sailors. See on the steps, coming and going. These are the visual imagery used in the poem. Others go home. See, using these words, the poet is creating pictures. 
So these words are the visual imagery in the poem. You have to write it in your own words. You have to write the sentences, sit and write, okay? And then comes list the rhyming words with the following sounds. You know how to do it. The sound is E. Which are the words ending in E? C. Me. Yes. Then comes INGS. Which are the words ending in INGS? Kings. Things. Yes. Next. Which are the words ending in OM? They are home. Rome. And which are the words ending in OKS? They are docks, blocks. Do not check the words. This side is given. E, ings, om, ox. These are sounds. So you have to find the words which end in these sounds. Okay. Next comes, listen to this. The assignment. You have to read the poem very well. Write them. Listen very carefully. Teacher is giving the assignment through the webcast now. And I will send it on WhatsApp after the class. But please understand, teacher is discussing this assignment. So it will be easy for you to write. Come on, don't be distracted. Look at the screen now. You have to read the poem well. And then write the meanings given in the poem. There are three meanings given in the poem. At the end of the poem, you have to write it in your notebook and then you have to write the questions and the answers. And then you have to write the questions and the answers given in the textbook in your notebook. You have to, you have to write the questions and the answers given in the textbook in your notebook. Okay? So, I will send the assignment to you on WhatsApp. Next lesson, we are moving on to lesson 3, colorful shoes. Lesson 3, colorful shoes. Take the colorful shoes page, children. Children, please take the colorful shoes Your, look in your textbook and also in your screen. On your screen is displayed the colorful shoes starting section. So we are just going through the next lesson. I have given you the assignment to Block City and I have given you the next lesson. I am giving you the next lesson that we are going to start in the next class. See, the starting part of the lesson Andrew 5C, please wait for teacher to interact with you. Let me finish this. Embarrassment is a very difficult emotion to manage. The dictionary meaning of embarrassment is to feel nervous, ashamed and uncomfortable. Can you think of, you know, can you think of situations when you felt embarrassed? In this lesson, someone is feeling embarrassed, a girl your age. Let us find out, not today, in the next class. Okay? So now children, are you all ready to take a quiz? Are you all ready to take a quiz? I'm going to ask you some questions. I'll be giving points to you. So let me start with the quiz now. Let me interact with you children. So get ready to take the quiz. Teacher will be asking simple questions today because it's a first day. 
yes so 5a from class 5a and lia biju teacher is teacher is going to ask you questions teacher will call out the names according to the panel list given here yes okay so class 5a anila and lia biju come on get ready to answer the question teacher is going to ask you you are going to take a quiz you will be you will be providing your class with points okay so you can be proud that you have given your class some points 5a and lia biju simple questions so get ready i'm going to ask you and lia biju yes can you hear me now and lia biju are you ready and lia biju shall i ask you yes the question is who wrote the poem block city oh wonderful i'm so happy that means you understood the lesson and that to 5a gets 5 points because teacher is very happy i'm giving you 5 points just for that question okay the answer is correct next teacher is going to ask another person so from class 5b get ready class 5b it's your turn now teacher is going to ask joseph yes joseph from class 5 sorry it's joseph is in 5a i move on to uh, 5b arshia let me ask arshia from 5b arshia can you hear me okay so let me ask another person from 5b i think you are not ready arshia is not ready from 5b adi shankar teacher is going to ask adi shankar is adi shankar ready yes. oh wonderful let me ask you this question in block city with what is the poet building some castles and palaces what with what is he building the city adi shankar give the answer class 5b listen Oh wow the answer is correct you have scored 5 points for class 5b wonderful next comes 5c it's the turn of 5c i am going to ask jonisha joy jonisha joy of class 5c please unmute your uh, microphone jonisha joy i am talking to you okay let me ask five okay jonisha is not responding so teacher is going to ask abhinav kumar ja of 5d is abhinav kumar ja ready yes ma'am take this question now the block city poem in the block city poem what is the meaning of the word vessels Oh, wonderful you gave the answer i am so proud of you class 5d and abhinav kumar ja has uh, scored points for class 5d next we move on to class 5c someone class 5c someone because we finished class 5a 5b and uh, 5d so now it is the turn it is a fight between classes let me find out who is which class is going to lose which class is going to be the winner now till now all the classes got equal points now it is the turn of class 5c abhinav dev teacher is calling abhinav dev of class 5c is abhinav dev ready okay so let me ask another person who is ready to take the quiz 
5 c is not over not over i think okay 5 c okay abhinav dev of 5 c can you hear me okay take this question from teacher you will be rewarded 5 points you you can be proud that you gave your class you know 5 points and uh, the question is let me ask you a simple question yes the, these castles and buildings and big structures they have supporting structures which are the supporting structures uh, the supporting structures mentioned in the poem for the buildings the huge buildings you will not see this supporting structure in a hut in a small house you cannot see this but in huge buildings and palaces the supporting structure is there and let me give give you one clue the word starts with the letter of p abhinav dev Abhinav Dev, can you answer the question? Abhinav Dev of Phi C, can you answer the question? Okay, so now let me find someone else from Phi C. Otherwise, they will lose points. Oh, Advaita Unikrishnan of Phi C. Can you hear me, Advait Unikrishnan, Unitan of 5C? Yes. Okay, so clear you are. And uh, let me ask you this question. In the poem, Block City, there are supporting structures for castles and palaces. The word starts with the letter P. Can you guess the word? Correct. The answer is correct. I I thought without the clue you wouldn't answer. Even without the clue you wouldn't you would have answered. Advaita Unitan teacher is proud of you. So class 5C gets 5 points. So 5A, 5B and 5C and 5D scores 5 points. It's equal points. It's a tie. We have to break the tie now. So just one more question teacher is going to at random ask. Okay. Teacher is going to ask Aman, Aman of 5D. Let me unmute Aman of 5D. Aman of 5D, can you hear me? Yes, teacher is going to ask you the question. When, or sorry, where, the question is, where is the poet or the little boy building the city? You can't hear. Okay. Aman. So let me repeat the question. Where is the poet building the city? Okay. Where is the poet? One second. Where is the poet building the city? Where is the poet building the city? Aman of 5D. Then give the answer, son. Oh, wow, that's the correct answer. I clap, clap, clap for you. All of you clap for all of you. Really, all of you did well. The class is 5A, 5B, 5C and 5D gets five points. And another extra question teacher asked, just at random teacher asked, and Aman gave the answer. Anyway, teacher gives equal points, okay? Let there be harmony and peace, children. Yes, once more, uh, like who is talking now? Just tell me your name. Okay, Nasriya of 5D. Yes, tell me, Nasriya. Ask me, Nasriya. Nasriya, you talk to me now. It's your turn. Can you hear me?
okay so anyway now it is time for me to stop now stop the class i will see you all on i will see you all on monday so you have to do your homework you will get your homework on whatsapp come on children energetic active children keep doing your work i will miss you all till monday here is mary and teacher your yes that's answer correct answer so you have to yes you told answer i can hear you children yes so see you all on monday this is your tea who said the answer is it aman who said the answer nasriya said the answer okay I gave five points, children. Five points I give you. Okay, take the five points. Be happy. You you have scored for your class. It's equal points. Okay. So now, so now, so now, just listen. Your teacher is going to say bye to you. Signing off, Mary and teacher, your English teacher. See you on Monday. Bye.